Today we say goodbye to my last beginner leather tool. I was filming my video where I made my leather YouTube play button behind me here, and I thought my skiving knife would be the perfect tool to flush cut the edge of it. What I forgot is that this tool is the worst tool that I own. This is the last tool from my Amazon toolkit that got me started in leather work. Not only is this light and cheap feeling, but this metal is so soft that it pretty much goes dull halfway through your cut. I'll let you in on a secret here. I actually had to swap out this garbage knife with something that can actually cut leather. And then in the video, I used a little bit of YouTube editing magic to make it look like this thing actually cut through it. Whew. It feels good to get that off my chest. Anyway, while I was cutting leather with this butter knife, I had a lot of time to rethink my life choices. Namely, why the hell am I still using this thing? It was at that point that I sent a message to Ibex Ironworks on Instagram. Ibex Ironworks is an amazing knife maker that I've been following for quite a while now. He makes a bunch of different types of knives, which are both beautiful and just insanely well made. I think at this point, I should tell you that this is not a sponsored video. I reached out to Ibex and I bought this at full price from him. And I liked it so much that I decided to make this video. With that out of the way, let's open this thing and I'll show you what I got. This is a copper Sanmai skiving knife with a copper and carbon fiber layered scale. I wish you could feel this because the second you pick this thing up, you can really feel the difference. This one just feels heavy and really well balanced. It just feels nice to hold it in your hand. And if you look at them, they're about the same size. This one's actually a little bit smaller and still manages to be heavier. And weighing them here, the Amazon Special weighs 66 grams and the Ibex knife weighs 133 grams. So this is quite a bit smaller and double the weight of the cheap Amazon one. And now the part that really matters, how does it cut? The first thing I did when I got this knife was grab some leather and start skiving. It pretty much goes through just like butter. That's the second butter reference in this video. Okay, I don't actually do a ton of skiving with these, but I do really like them for flush cutting edges and for sometimes rounding off corners, stuff like that. I really wish you could feel this thing. It's pretty much the difference of when I upgraded from my old stitching chisel to my Cinebrooks. It just has like a premium feel. Like you can feel that it does the job better when you're using it. I don't really know how to explain it. It's just really nice to use. It is definitely worth upgrading your tools when you can. I will toss the link to Ibex Ironworks down in the description. If you're so inclined, you can go there, pick up a knife. Two things I should mention about them though. One is that these are expensive. Don't be shocked when you go to his page and see the prices of these things. You really do get what you pay for. And if that's more than you're willing to pay, there are some other knife makers that make really good ones for a little bit less than Ibex does. But remember that these knives are small batch knives made by small companies. It's pretty much the same thing that us leather workers do when you're hand making things. It's gonna cost a little bit more, but you get more of that personal feel and it's, it's way better than a mass produced thing. Okay, the second thing that I need to mention is that Ibex does not take orders. He is making these and then he either puts them up for auction on Instagram or he puts them up and first person to message him asking for it, it's theirs. So. If you want to snag one of these, head over to his Instagram page and just turn on the post notifications. He posts pretty often, so just keep an eye out for him and you'll be able to get rid of this crap. If you know some other tools worth upgrading to, drop them below in the comments. I'd love to see some new tools for me to buy. And if you like what I'm doing on the channel here, uh, feel free to subscribe and watch a few more of my videos. That is how you can really support the channel. Of course, if you really like the channel, I do have a Patreon where I have three awesome patrons at this point. I have a few different levels of supporters on Patreon, 
and any money I make there goes straight back into the channel. I am working on making it a little bit more value over there. Uh, I will be dropping some behind the scenes content and some updates, things like that. So. Thank you to my patrons over there. I will drop that link below as well. Uh, if you're interested, go and check it out. But otherwise, thank you. I will see you in the next video. Bye.